I was looking for physiological indicators um, that might associate also with guidance for cognitive remediation, particularly for uh, veterans in active duty who had suffered a concussion or even a traumatic brain injury that was more lasting and was affecting their cognitive function and standing in the way of their desired life trajectory, which included completing college. Yeah, for example, uh, for veterans, when they come back from the war or from uh, very uh, severe situations, when they come back, they say they have some memory loss or they have some kind of uh, mental cognitive issues. My first semester here, I took chemistry. And I knew chemistry was, chemistry was going to be tough, but I didn't know it was going to be that tough. I had a hard time as far as like test taking. Like, I mean, like, I would, like, I would study, I would know my material, and then as soon as I sit down to take the test, like, everything would go away. And so they come to my attention in my intervention trial in that way, and part of what, um, what I see is through through our work together, they have better access to a neuropsychological assessment. So this can be calibrated to the functional MRI, and then we focus on the cortex. Then we can operate a simpler way to target on the patient group. These partnerships, are, I think, are going to be extremely important as we move into the future. She has access to those uh, um, subjects, and she has knowledge in terms of all those uh, subjective measures, and then she has knowledge in, on that side, and then I don't. So this is really multidisciplinary, but that will give us a win-win situation. It's really not one plus one. It's really mm -hmm. uh, two to the square, I meaning mm -hmm. it's really enhancing each other's uh, strength helping each other too.